Good afternoon from Universal Orlando Parking Garage. There was the horns, they were honking. We're headed into Universal Studios today and to Islands of Adventure. Check on Christmas decorations as we have been doing because Christmas is starting now everywhere in Orlando. We are also gonna check and see what the Halloween Horror Nights decorations look like. I'm interested to see how many of them are left or if they're just all gone. So let's go inside and have a look. So we haven't even made it over to the arches yet. First thing you can see is that they've taken down all the Horror Nights banners. I was gonna show that a little bit closer, but then I was walking by NBC Grill Brew and I noticed there are poinsettias over here. They planted poinsettias for Christmas, right underneath the gardenia bushes. One of my favorite scents in all of Florida. There it is, the front entrance with all of the Halloween Horror Nights banners and logos gone. Soon, there's gonna be some holiday decorations in the center of this arch. So I'm not expecting to see a lot of Christmas decorations here because we still have a little bit of time until the Christmas season starts here at Universal Studios. It starts on November 16th. Something else that's new over here is this dining reservations kiosk next to Today Cafe, it's brand new. They put this thing up basically overnight. It went up very fast. But if you need to make a dining reservation, that's where you can do it. Oh, well we did find the very first thing here at the Universal Studios store. They've got their window decorations for the holiday celebration. Okay, a couple of Christmas gifts over here. All out Grinchmas stuff with Grinch plushies and Grinch shirts and Grinch hats and Grinch stockings and other Grinch gifts. But let's head inside and see if they have anything else out as far as a big holiday display. Oh, there's definitely a lot of Grinch stuff. I like this jacket. This is nice. Yeah. $55, doesn't say anything on the back, but it does say the Grinch on the front. It's got the plaid pocket. Look at this adorable Max plushie for $17. This Grinch mug, $25. I like how Universal has a habit of making things a round number. It doesn't include taxes, so you still have to pay taxes on top of it, but it's not like $26.99, it's just $27 for this feast mode shirt. $30, more bitter, less glitter. That's fun. I feel like I should get this for the baby because he will be born just before Christmas, actually very soon, but $20 for a How the Grinch Stole Christmas shirt. I don't want to get him the shirt, I want to get him the book. I'm sorry, is Minions right now just a 15 minute wait? I gotta get a closer look at that. Oh my goodness. It is only a 15 minute wait for Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. It is not a busy day here at Universal at all. Normally we'd be heading this way to head into the park, but I wanted to head over in this direction because I saw some Christmas decorations down there and I wanted to have a look at the Born Stuntacular signage because they put up a new one. They're doing some work out in front of the Born Stuntacular. Looks like they're probably gonna be filming or doing something else in there. But there is a new sign out and there's another black box out in front of it. I don't know what that's for. I wonder what's going on. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys all of the Christmas decorations up on the buildings here. Oh, and the Santa hats on the street lights. One of these little red Christmas trees up here. This puts me in the Christmas spirit. Oh, also they have these stars hanging from the street lights too. I bet you those will look amazing at night. But I wanted to show you guys the Beverly Wilshire, the Five and Dime. All of these stores over here are actually closed for a remodel right now. These will be the exit to the Bourne Stuntacular show. So I believe that they're probably just going to remodel this to be Jason Bourne or Bourne Stuntacular stuff. But this was where the Stranger Things experience was. If you guys remember back to that, and what we'll do is we'll put a link to that video in the description down below in case you guys didn't see it yet. There's Betty Boop. She was doing a nice little dance there to it. Awesome, thank you. So another thing that I noticed is these trusses here, and those are just lighting trusses because they do have the Macy's Holiday Parade that comes out from the Esoteric Gate, and you guys can see right there, it says Esoteric Pictures on the top. That's why we call it the Esoteric Gate, and that's where the Macy's Holiday Parade steps off. What we'll do is we'll put a link to a video in the description down below so you guys can see what Macy's Holiday Parade was like last year. I don't know if you guys could hear the music that Betty Boop was dancing to, but it was the Lagoon Show, the daytime Lagoon Show that doesn't have any set schedules, it just kinda happens throughout the day. It was happening and it just ended, so we missed it as we came over to show it to you guys, but it was happening. As we head into the Central Park area, not much left of Halloween Horror Nights, just a few lighting truss towers here. It's all that they have left to take down that I can see. Seems like everything else has already been taken down. Here's something that we can see. Some remnants of Halloween Horror Nights. It got brand new sod over here. This is where one of the Viking sacrifices was taking place in the Vikings Undead Scare Zone. Guys, I think I found it. I think I found the true Christmas spirit at Universal Studios. And those are the Christmas snake birds. 
Christmas snake birds hanging out on a rock. It doesn't really, ooh. It doesn't really flow off the tongue like Christmas is starting now, does it? Or even theme park pigeon. Over here by the Simpsons ride, they have all of these carnival games. And one thing that I noticed is this one over here called Dunk or Flunk, where you have to shoot a basketball, still has some Halloween prizes. A scary clown jack-in-the-box type thing? A jack-o'-lantern? A ghost? Homer Simpson? A bat? As we're looking past Men in Black, they still have basically the entire facade of House of a Thousand Corpses is up back there. I don't see them taking it down anytime soon because it's backstage, so they don't need to take it down. They need to get their Christmas stuff up that's on stage and all the Halloween Horror Night stuff from on stage off first. I can hear a little bit of banging happening back on the Fear Factor stage where Academy of Villains performed during Halloween Horror Nights. So I think they're taking down the set. But right now, Fear Factor Live still has not opened back up yet. Oh, I should probably tell you guys, today is November the 6th, and Universal's holidays don't start until November the 16th. Oh yeah, lots of holiday decorations going on here on the London waterfront. I really like all of the Christmas decorations. Let's go check and see if Diagon Alley has their Christmas decorations up just yet. I like how this entrance kind of looks like a mouth going, Rah! You think 12 Grimaud Place decorates? Nope. Everybody around them does though. Feel like Creature doesn't have any Christmas spirit. Oh yes, I forgot. They really do decorate for Christmas here in Diagon Alley. Lots and lots of garland and lights everywhere. I need to come back at night. Look, even Nocturne Alley has decorated for the holidays. Just wanted to check in at King's Cross because they drew me in with their Christmas trees. These are actually all lit up already too. As we're heading into the San Francisco area, I'm gonna show you guys they are still selling Halloween Horror Nights merch here, and they have all the HHN glasses still too. Get all four of them for $40 or $15 a piece. Now that they've taken out the Rob Zombie Scare Zone pieces here in front of the Exit 2 Fast and Furious, there's a lot more room to walk over here. The Superstar Parade is just going by right now. Just finishing up here with the Secret Life of Pets float. Great. Let's head into the Palace Arcade see if they have any of the Stranger Things games in there still. Oh wow, they've already moved them all out and put back what was here before. Claw machines, balloon buster, this thing. We should come in here and play some games one day. Oh, it's like mini ball drop. Heck yeah. It's called monster drop, but it's a little tiny version of it. It has been a few days since Halloween Horror Nights ended, so no Halloween Horror Nights props are out and a few Christmas decorations are out at the moment. I think we need to head over to the other park and see what we can find over there. What's this fan up on the roof? Usually those are snow machines. Let me get a little closer look at this. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. It kind of looks like it might be a snow machine. It is a snow machine. Huh, I wonder why there's a snow machine back there. I know they're blasting the parade music, but I found a couple of other snow machines way up top there. Just to the left of those lights, you guys see that little black bump in the roof? That's another snow machine. Wanted to show you guys the entire stage from Zombieland and the drop tower ride are gone. This is where the Christmas tree is gonna go. Then I also wanted to show you guys the tribute store is still open, but they have all kinds of signs up saying, final days, last chance, see it while you still can. As a side note, this is where that Stranger Things interactive experience ended up inside of the tribute store. So here we are in the Stranger Things section. And there it is. There is the Stranger Things interactive experience happening right now. Somebody's doing it. Oh, they're using their 11 power on him. They're gonna blow up that Demogorgon. Oh no, he evaporated. Oh, he did. Back out in the New York area, got another lighting truss. Nothing left over from Halloween Horror Nights. It's just here for the holiday parade. And as you can see further down the street, there are more of them as well. So both Universal Studios and Islands Adventure have a year-round Christmas store. The one inside Universal Studios is right here across from Transformers. This is in the New York area. If you guys remember back to our Halloween Horror Nights video, this is where Star Court Mall Food Court was. And we could get our Hawkins Heroes. One of the last things left over from Halloween Horror Nights, these non-alcoholic drinks. We tried these one year. They were not good. <laughs> well, that's about it from Universal Studios. Let's head over to Islands of Adventure now, see what kind of decorations and other things we can find at Islands of Adventure. So fun fact, I came out of Universal Studios underneath Rip Ride Rocket. The main entrance is kind of off to the right over there. 
So this is Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. This is Blue Man Group right here. There's Rip Ride Rocket. And what I'm doing now is I'm turning in this direction to head over to Islands of Adventure back behind Hard Rock Cafe. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of things at the back of Hard Rock Cafe that I always found interesting. So room 315 is a tribute to CBGBs up in New York, which I thought was amazing. But also there's a piece of the Berlin Wall over here, which I mean, I feel like I take it for granted that I come here and I get to just walk past a piece of history like this but this is it. This is an actual piece of the Berlin Wall that they have on display back behind Hard Rock Cafe. And you can see they have a little plaque here talking about it. And you can still see some of the graffiti on there. I feel like it probably used to be a little bit more prominent as far as graffiti went, but the rain and weather and everything. And there's also a few urban legends about what happened with the graffiti, but I'm sure that it was probably mostly just weathering because Graffiti doesn't last forever. Now we are over at Islands of Adventure. See what kind of Christmas stuff they've got going on in here. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, there's kind of a lot of Christmas decorations out here in Islands of Adventure. Cause the adventure begins at Christmas. Let's stop and do Islands of Adventure Trading Company. See what kind of Christmas stuff they have in here right now. If they have any, you never know. They do have a Christmas wreath in there that I can see so far. Oh my goodness. They have the Christmas Mosasaur. There definitely are a lot of Christmas decorations in here, but I have yet to find any Christmas merch. There's some Grinch stuff straight ahead of us. It would seem like the Christmas merch would be here, but it's not. This is all Avengers stuff. Hmm. See, I don't think that this Grinch stuff is special for the holidays. I think this stuff's always here. So if you guys remember back in the other park, I said that each park has their own dedicated Christmas store that's open year round. If we're looking back towards the entrance of the park, the port of entry store is on the right-hand side here. And then if we turn to our left, which would be your right on the way in, there it is, Port of Entry Christmas. So not anything real special inside of here because this stuff is year round Christmas stuff. So we won't go into too much detail in here. We'll be on the lookout for more Christmas stuff around the rest of the park. Of course, we will be making our way down to Mythos to have a look over at the construction that's happening in the back of Jurassic Park. But for now, we're gonna head to our right over in this direction towards Seuss Landing Last time we were here, there was a construction mall on the right. They have now moved it over to the left. So I think all of the construction malls were up to do the painting around here. Not so much to hang the Christmas decorations, but it's beginning to look like the hula days here in Seuss Landing. Oh yeah. Happy hula days, everybody. This is one of my favorite places to be for Christmas is here in Seuss Landing. The streetmosphere and the actors that walk around during the hula days are amazing. Looking over at the Cat in the Hat ride, just past this icy stand, I think this is the exit to the Cat in the Hat. No, I don't know what this is. There's like a seating area back here. What is this? So that back there is backstage. I like these reindeer that they've got over here. But this looks like a nice little secluded, kind of quiet area. There is like some Seuss music playing. What is this? Oh, there's an exit to the gift shop over here, or an entrance to the gift shop back here. But it's kind of just like a nice seating area. It is a little bit quiet back here. Huh. Horton hatches the egg. Hello, you've nothing to do and I need a rest. Would you like to sit on the egg in my nest? This kind of looks like it's getting ready to like catapult the egg somewhere. Well, I would say if it's starting to get a little bit overwhelming and you need a place to go that's quiet, I would definitely come back here. It's pretty nice. Not crowded. Nobody seems to be back here. Huh. Never knew this area was here. It's nice. And every once in a while, there's this creepy laugh that comes from this archway. <laughs> oh, just to the left of Cat in the Hat, it looks like One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish is closed for refurbishment at the moment. So as a bit of wayfinding to help you guys out during the hula days, Right here is, well, behind this wall is one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Circus McGurkis is behind me. And right there is the Karasusa cell. Karasusa And then if we turn to our left, this would be the entrance to How the Grinch Stole Christmas. A great, great holiday show for Grinchmas. Speaking of Circus McGurkis, during Grinchmas in the morning, they have a character breakfast in here where you can meet the Grinch and some Who's and get some breakfast. We've done that before and we'll put a link to that video in the description down below so you guys can see it. Oh, it's all decorated for the holidays in there too, or the hula days. Whoa, look at that. 
That looks awesome. Oh, look, there's the Grinch right there. Wow. There are so many Grinchmas decorations all around Seuss Landing, and I love it. It puts me in the holiday spirit. Even though it is uh, 83 degrees outside, it's still very hot here. Also, during Grinchmas, inside of Dr. Seuss's All the Books You Can Read, they have a Grinch meet and greet as well. So if you don't want to do the character breakfast, you can come in here and meet the Grinch and buy lots of Grinch merchandise. Now we are out of Seuss Landing, passing by Mythos. You guys know what that means. We're gonna go back down by the waterfront and have a look at Jurassic Park. Oh wow, they are uh, moving out into the water here. It is not very far away from the shoreline. We got a big old crane doing some pilings over here. So it seems like they're gonna go vertical fairly soon because they're starting to put in footers. We should start to see something all this metal over here is all seawalls. So as you guys can see, they've moved some of the land out to create a larger surface area for whatever's going here. Like we said, we've heard roller coaster. And, but no official announcement on that yet. So stay tuned though, because this right here, this form is them drilling down in order to pour a footer to support whatever they're going to put in here. It's gonna be pretty big too. That's for sure. Before we leave, I wanted to show you guys this in the water. Kind of looks like a footer. Maybe there's going to be something going out over top of the water here. Now we're headed over to Hogsmeade. Have a look at the Christmas decorations in here. And they are decked out for the holidays. As we pass by Hagrid's, I did talk to somebody that just got off of it. And they said they waited the exact wait time that it says on the sign. So I think it's an accurate one today at 105 minutes. Man, I cannot wait to come here at night during the holidays when it's cooler out and all the lights are on. Ooh, it's gonna be so nice. Starting on the 16th of November, they are doing a holiday projection show on Hogwarts Castle. Just like we saw the Dark Arts projection show, and we'll put a link to that in the description down below so you guys can see what a projection show looks like. We'll also put last year's projection show in the description down below so you guys can get an idea of what the holiday projection show looks like. Well, this is new. Out here in front of the Discovery Center, we used to have to turn right and go this way and now all of a sudden, there's an opening over here, almost like a shortcut. We're gonna take it and see where it takes us. This is a wide open space. So what's what's over here? And like, I understand they're building whatever over here, but why is this walled off? What are they building over here? We used to walk over there on the other side of this construction wall. Now we're just kind of like walking through something. Is this new asphalt? I am so lost. I need an aerial view of this for to like get my bearings. So I'm fairly certain that we were not able to walk back here in recent memory. There used to be an area back here called Triceratops Trail, like a Triceratops experience. We were never able to walk over underneath Pterodon Flyers on this side. Yeah, look, there's the, there's the end right there. That's the end of the ride. Yeah, thinking back on this, this was Triceratops encounter. Oh look, we just dumped out over by River Adventure. Also, that is some structural stuff right there. Like they would build a bridge with this. They hammered these down into the ground. I'm so confused, I need, I need more context to understand what's going on here. But this is exciting. From Jurassic Park, we've made it into Toon Lagoon and we're looking over at Popeye's and Bluto's Bilgerat Barges. And they still have the walls up here. Still under refurbishment. We can't get any closer to the construction for the Jurassic Park stuff. So I feel like we've seen all of the Christmas decorations all around Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure because I don't think there are any inside of Superhero Island. So I was just came over by the bathroom to get a drink of water and I just noticed this fuel rod location over here. And I wanted to show you guys because we are at Universal. A swap. Why doesn't it work? Oh, there. Oh, dang. Swap is $3, and actually the $3 doesn't include tax. $3, but if you have a promo code, you can get it down to one. But look at that, with tax, $3.21 to swap it out. So there you have it. That was our trip to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure looking for Christmas stuff, and we found a lot of it. We didn't find very much Halloween stuff, but there still was a few little hints here and there of Halloween Horror Nights left over from this year's event. Christmas has arrived at Universal Studios though. Starting November 16th is when all of the festivities begin, but they have definitely started decorating the park all over, both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. So I'm excited. 
Christmas is feeling really good this year and Christmas is starting now. So with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Jacob Kelso. I love you, mom. I miss you so much. And now it's time to pay the price.